What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all the updates that Video Leap has made recently and maybe some old ones that I haven't touched on yet. So if you've been using Video Leap and things seem different, you can't figure out where things are right now, then this is the video for you. So let's get started. So most of you guys probably clicked on this video because you use Video Leap and, and maybe you're having trouble finding things like the trash can or the cut button or the duplicate button. They were there before and where did they go now? Well, in this video, I'm going to be going over all that uh, today. So basically what Video Leap does is they try to update the app not to frustrate you even though it does seem like that's the reason why they did these updates but the real reason why they do these updates is so that the app is better for you when editing a video cutting a clip and deleting the clip has been something that i do like pretty much every two seconds so it's no surprise to me that they changed those buttons and made it closer or easier for you um, when i first hopped back into the app though uh, for the first time um, i did have trouble uh, finding the delete or the trash can it took me a few seconds and even when i did figure it out i had trouble remembering where it was because I you know I, after a few months of editing in the app you definitely become you know used to a certain routine and then they just change that routine but it like I said before it is to make the app better so all right so I have a, a project already pulled up here and we're just gonna go through all the updates so the first update is that when you click, click on a clip and go all the way to the right the trash can which used to be there is no longer there so how do you delete a clip if you want to get rid of that clip well as you can see the clip is already selected here if you select it again it comes up with more options and in that options panel here you'll see the first thing here is duplicate uh, that'll duplicate your clips the second thing you see here is um, it's called mixer and it brings it up to the mixer basically so that if you um, want to have a clip from the the main like uh, timeline to above in the mixer you just click on that clip there and then the trash can is there as well. So the reason why they did this is because these options here are what they found to be what is used the most. So um, just to make your editing time a little bit faster, they moved all those there. And if you look below, there's a little button down here and that'll actually cut your clips too because before all these things had to be, you know, you clip on them and then you go find it in here. And a lot of times you're cutting and deleting like crazy because that's how you edit videos. Um, so they made it a lot easier to, by putting all those there. Another thing that they added was this highlights um, button here. Now, what is that? Because when I clip on this clip here, put a highlight, there's nothing that I can do, okay? So what it's really for is, say you have a bunch of clips here and they're not the full clips, like this is, there's more in this clip here, but you don't wanna like open it and like scrub through it and then try to like cut it again to the exact timing that you had it before you'll just clip on highlight here and it'll actually scrub through it and keep it the same five seconds that you have in there. Say if you're going with music or whatever and you have to scrub through it like this, you'll have to do it this way and then find it and then, you know, then shorten that to the to the exact time you need. But now you don't need to do that. You just go here, put, pick on highlights and then you can scrub through the clip here and it'll keep it the exact same length. I think that's pretty cool because a lot of times when I am going through my videos, I edit pretty quickly. Usually when I edit through a clip, um, you know, it's it's not it's, this is not like Premiere Pro where you know the timeline is really visible in, on a big screen and you can kind of like go through and clip something and not move the whole timeline. When you move something out of the main timeline here, everything will just jump back. So a lot of times you have to go through and say if it was like here or whatever, um, you'll go through and you'll press this replace button, you know, and then you'll replace it with whatever this clip here and then um, yeah see it says it's a different time you put it in there and it doesn't know what time or what place you want to use so the the highlight clip is perfect for basically this going through here and finding the six the five seconds that I do want to use picking on that and then it stays in there which is pretty nice so yeah those are the main updates that the app has made recently and I think that it's for the better it's made my editing time go down just a little bit and you know every minute counts when you're trying to you know make videos and turn this into a career because you know we're we're busy people out here and we we have lives and every minute every five minutes every 10 minutes we get to save is just that much we get to put into something else so i really hope that this video helped you video leap editors out today if it has and you are not subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button for the algorithm you know if you really did enjoy or if i did help you out with this video that would help me out a lot to you know get this video out there and hopefully grow the channel this year so so once again i really appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you next time peace